Hey everyone, Tyler Bristow here with centerlinemapping.com. I want to follow up with a video I posted yesterday on the tilt compensation of the S900A GPS receivers. I've got the base set up on point number one. I've got the R80 total station set up on point number two. It's already set up. I did a back sight. It's set up, ready to go. I've got the base set up. I've got the rover set up. I'm going to shoot a point. It's a building corner. Point number three, we're going to shoot point number three with the rover tilted at about 58 degrees. And then we're going to shoot that same building corner with the Stonex R80 total station. And we're going to compare the two. So we're going to shoot that building corner right here with the rover tilted at about 58, 59 degrees. And then we're going to shoot it with the R80 total station. And we are going to see how the positions of those two points, points three and four, compare. So let's go to survey. You'll see the map. You'll see where we are. Again, we've got the base set up on point one. We've got the R80 set up right here on point two. And we're going to go shoot that building corner. So let me go ahead and pick up this guy. He's got eight feet in the air. And we're going to walk over there and take point number three with this guy. Okay, so I'm just walking over here to this Tilt building, function disabled. building corner. And we're gonna shove it in the corner. Let's just pretend like we're surveying this building. So we have something Tilt to reference. function disabled. We have Tilt function enabled. Okay, she gets pretty loud. Let's turn her down. You can turn her off too. Okay, I'm too much tilted. You can't tilt more than 60 degrees. So now we are tilted at about Let's see, 58 degrees, and we've got a three hundredths of a foot accuracy. That's amazing. I'm going to go ahead and shoot this point and call it control. Let's temp survey it. Okay, sorry, my camera's in the way of the screen, but I just kind of want to show you what we're doing. I just tapped on temp survey, and we collected point number three. Let's go shoot it with the robotic total station. We'll do a reflectorless shot on the corner of this building, as you can see. There's a nice corner here, and we will compare points number three and points number four. So I've got my rod tip. I've got that rod tip way down in there, so I think if I shoot that corner, it'll give us a good idea. So let's go over there, and I will show you. I'll spin the robotic tow station around and let you see the lens and crosshairs, and then we'll shoot it and do a COGO calculation between points three and four a distance so let's go over there and do that okay so i've gotten back over here to the r80 robotic total station and what i'm going to do is tap on the top right screen to switch to that total station and as you can see just like that i'm now talking to this total station which is zoomed in and looking at point number one which was my back sight so i've got a prism set up on top of my base and i just did a quick back sight so all i'm going to do now is turn the r80 and as you can see it updates the map it lets me know where i'm looking i'm just going to zoom in on the corner and measure see what we get for point number point number four Okay, I'm almost there. I'm real close. Okay, I think I am. As close as I'm gonna get. Okay, I'm gonna let you zoom in. Here we go, you're going in. Tell me what you see. Are we close enough? Well, if that isn't hard to do, I don't know what is. But anyways, I'm going to tap measure. Okay, we just did a measurement. And I am very happy with how close those two points are. So let me turn the imagery off and zoom in. Let me do a measurement one more time. Let me look in here. We've got a reflectorless shot going on. And I'm going to go ahead and do temp survey. Okay, so now what you see on the screen is two points, three and four. Let's do a Kogo calculation to determine the distance between the two. 
Okay, tools, Kogo calculations. I'm sorry this camera gets in our way. And then distance. Okay, this is where I'm gonna choose a point, point 0.4, and the set endpoint is point 0.3, so we just wanna find the distance between the two, tap calculate, and as you can see, our 2D distance for just a quick setup, we just did that in about a couple seconds, couple minutes, is one-tenth of a foot. The difference between taking a shot with a rover, using a basin rover with 58 degree, tilt and using a total station set up on two known points and taking a shot with a reflected list shot so everybody can see just how accurate these S900A receivers are even when you're tilted how amazing and impressive is that I mean you just saw it with your own eyes 2D distance between a 58 degree shot and an RE Stonex total station is one tenth of a foot. All right, everybody. Well, I thank you for watching this video. And if you have any comments, please post them below and just let me know what your thoughts are. I, I really think this is good for for what I do, just showing ba uh, building edges and building corners and how they refer to the utilities that we map. So thanks for watching, everyone.